Hey guys, I'm Scott Felstead for Flavor Mag and you're joining me in another exclusive location. You know they say if you want to get the best interviews and you want to find the best subjects, you've got to go into the natural habitat. Well, <laughs> this isn't a wildlife program and these aren't animals. Well, maybe a little bit. But here we are in the natural habitat of Beer Money Inc. Thanks for joining us, guys. Hey, you're very welcome. Thanks Great for having to see us, you. James Storm, Bobby Roode, two former heavyweight champions and these guys, one of the most iconic tag teams that wrestling's ever seen. First of all, why did you ever split up? You know, I think I think both of us uh, just kind of felt like uh, it was time. You know, it, like it was all my fault. <laughs> it was actually it was he, he, he it was. the beer bottle. <laughs> but, no. but you know, it, it just came down to it. I, I really think just greed. You know, we, we got greedy and really wanted to be heavyweight champion, yep. and uh, it, you know, and greed tears everything. Yeah. Well, you both achieved it, and there's absolutely no question. Individually, you're great. Um, I mean, I was at Wembley a couple of years back when you guys wrestled. I don't know if, if you remember, but the crowd reaction was so good for that match that after the match, during the intermission, when people were buying T-shirts and merchandise, they were still chanting beer money. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that at a wrestling show where the crowd chant in the intermission. I mean, there must have been a point where you thought, we're really on something here, you know? Did that Pretty happen? early, actually, you know, when um, I can remember our first interview as a, as a, as a tag team, James said, the one thing that, because at the time we didn't even have a, a tag team name, we didn't know how long we were going to be together, but he said in the interview the, the only thing that makes this world go around is beer and money, and then it kind of clicked, and we had our name, and then we kind of just took off from there, from like the, the stuff you see in the ring to the merchandise ideas. I mean, we had it all lined up within it, like 24 hours. We just, things were just started to fly, yeah. and uh, the fans caught on quick, and... And we knew that it was something special right, right from the beginning, yeah. I think, yeah. Really, uh, Absolutely, something special. I don't know if you agree, James, but I think that the best tag teams are the ones where the two wrestlers aren't necessarily identical, but they complement yeah. each other. Right. If you look at like, the Hart Foundation and the Steiners, you've got a faster guy, you've got a more powerful guy, but they still blend technically. Is that how you see yourselves, that you complement each other? Yeah, I mean, any great tag team, to me, is like that. You know, Like you said, if you get two guys who are exactly the same, you know, I don't. I don't think they gel yeah. as well. You know, same way with like the Rockers. Mm -hmm. You know, we had the Rockers, and you know, Rock and Roll Express, Midnight Express. They were all different guys in their yeah. own thing, and but you know, being a tag team brought them together, and they, it, it worked well for everyone. Yeah. Well, it's not just the in-ring stuff as well. I mean, James and I are very similar as far as in-ring styles, but when you look at our characters, you know, we're like oil and water. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think that's what makes the tag team so entertaining and so good. Yeah. Uh, and you look at all the other, you know, entertaining tag teams over the years, you know, you look at 3D, I mean, two totally different guys. You look at, you know, the New Age Outlaws, two totally different guys. Um, you know, so, you know, I think that's kind of what makes us uh, special and entertaining and the fans can kind of connect with us because so, one guy may connect with me mm -hmm. and the next guy may connect with James, you know yeah. what I mean? So it, it gives, it's, it's a good variety. Yeah, definitely. And that's why you know, it's so great that you guys are back together because you're from Ontario, mm -hmm. you're from Tennessee, yeah. you know, but we all speak the language of beer and uh, you're here in London now and everybody gets it. And uh, you know, what led to you guys reforming? Please, we are that you did, but what, what was the catalyst for that? I think it was just, you know, we, we had our, our moment, we, we went on for the last, you know, five years and, and we went off on our own and, uh, you know, for myself, became a world champion on, on two occasions. And longest reigning. Longest reigning world heavyweight champion, <laughs> yeah, can't forget about that. Um, and just, you know, I, I had the opportunity to, to I guess, uh, in a way, live a dream, you know. As a, as a kid growing up, you know, if you want to be a professional wrestler, getting into the business, you want to be a world champion, you want to be a single star. So we both had that opportunity. And I think, uh, you know, when you sit back and you think about what we're most recognized for, yes, we were world champions, but everywhere we go, you know, even when we weren't a tag team, we always heard the beer money chants in every, every town and in, in, in every arena. Um, you know, it didn't matter where we were, you know, you'd always hear the beer money chants. So you got to think, like, it's been five years, you know, what's old is new again. And I think uh, from the first time we got back in the ring, you know, a month ago, yeah. you know, we just clicked again and it was there. So. Uh, there's a lot of fuel in the tank still, and uh, hopefully the fans will be excited this time around as well. Definitely. And I think he just got tired of paying my bar tab. He had to get away yeah, a little bit and save back up. Yeah. It's taken five years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of that already. <laughs> Well, beer's probably more expensive here in London as well, oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I mean, Who would you know? You wouldn't know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've seen the tab. I didn't yeah. pay it. I just looked at it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you must be excited about being back. I mean, the great arenas here, great crowds. We talked about that chant earlier. I mean, what can fans expect from beer money, you know, in 2016? 
Uh, I mean, there's a there's a lot. I mean, uh, you, you know, definitely we wouldn't get back together if if we didn't have the tag team titles, you know, in our sight. Yeah. Uh, and, and just going out there and having fun. You know, we we've basically done everything there is to do almost in professional wrestling. And, uh, and and now we, we want to have fun with the fans and give back to the fans and just, just you know, raise some hell with them. Absolutely. Well, I'm looking forward to that. And it's this weekend, uh, Wembley Arena on Saturday night. Before that, you're in Manchester on the Friday night, over to Birmingham Sunday night. So it's going to be a pr pretty whirlwind tour. We're looking forward to it. And I know I'm interrupting your business meeting and I've kept you away from a drink. So I'm going to give you a chance to have a little bit of drink here. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions each. And each time, you know, normally it'd be a forfeit to drink, but I know I'm not going to play that way with you. So if you get the answer right, you can get a sip of your beer, okay? Okay. Does that sound okay? Okay. He's going for it. We're doing it. He's beer, so he's got to drink the beer. Okay, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> he's happy about that. Wait, do I get it right or do I get it wrong? Wait. If you get it right. I get a drink. Maybe. We'll he's going to drink regardless. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, you're bigger than me, so that's fine. <laughs> we can go along with that. Okay, so first question I'm going to ask Bobby, um, how many times has James held the World Heavyweight Championship in TNA? Once. Correct. <laughs> he was thinking... Drink! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be tore up on the floor. That's okay. <laughs> it was a great game. Okay, same question. James, how many times has Bobby held the TNA World Heavyweight Championship? Two. He's not nodding, he's, not, he's got a poker face, but yeah, that's correct too. <laughs> Drink! <laughs> We're going to need more beer. <laughs> okay, now I'm relying on Wikipedia for this, so it may have got a bit wrong. When's we know, Bobby Roode's birthday? We know that Wikipedia... <laughs> <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> yeah. We know Wikipedia's never wrong, so you know, no, we're going to be bound by that. Okay. But Bobby, who was James Storm trained by? Um, I want to say... Well, I know Wolfie D. That was and the answer. Yeah. A little bit from Jeff and Jerry Jerry as well. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we can accept That's that. Three That's drinks. A, yeah, it's a bonus point. <laughs> chug, chug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, same question. Gosh, Dan, what did you ask me that for? Uh, can I get a hint? Um, well, used to be an adult star, maybe. Like a porn? Uh, maybe in character, not so much in in the movies, but yeah. in the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would have to say Val Venus. Is that correct? I'm checking that for you. That's right. <laughs> this is yeah, Wikipedia. That's okay. So that's cool. Yeah. So we're doing pretty well here. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Great. Okay, we've just got two more questions now, and this is to both of you. So the first one is how many times has Pro Wrestling Illustrated crowned you guys as Tag Team of the Year? Uh, do you want me to answer this one? Yeah. You, know you can confer if you want. You know. Two. Two and a half. Two? Two is correct. Two. Two and a half because we've counted this year. We've counted this year. We're almost got this perfect. All right. One more question. Anyone who was paying attention would have already got the answer to this question earlier. Okay. But the question is who are the longest running tag team champions in TNA history? I don't know. Should we talk about this? I know you don't like to talk about things like this. I feel like charity work, but you know, you've got to do it. I'm going to say beer money, final answer. Beer money, final answer. I accept beer money and I'll have a drink with these guys. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.